obviously, you know, one of the, the uh, you know, uh, benefits of, of, of what we've had with COVID is we have a very, very uh, easy monetary, um, you know, uh, landscape. We've seen the Fed that is committed to low rates for an extended period of time. We've seen fiscal stimulus coming in almost all markets. And that's provided quite a bit of support. Now, obviously, mm. for the geopolitical situation, we have seen more listings, uh, you know, coming to Hong Kong. And that has created quite a, quite a uh, you know, strong environment uh, for the Hong Kong IPO market. One of the things that we do think one needs to keep aware of, though, is obviously as more and more of these IPOs come, some of the companies that might be coming to market might be not quite as strongly positioned as some of the other ones. The valuations mm. are getting higher and higher. And what that means is the type of stocks you're selecting in this IPO market you need, uh, needs a lot more careful consideration. Yeah, it's a good reminder about differentiation rather than just writing the IPO fervor in some cases. Um, what about the market more broadly in Hong Kong, though, given that it has been trailing what's going on in the mainland year to date? Do you think there is room to close this gap? Um, well, you know, that's that's a, a very interesting question. And again, it's like what what actually is the Hong Kong market and what is the, you know, the mainland market these days? Because there is, you know, as you just we've just uh, discussed with the IPOs is the nature of that market is starting to change. And I think as you do see uh, a degree of convergence between the type of companies that are listed in both markets, uh, you know, maybe that valuation gap can close a, a little bit. You know, from our perspectives, we don't tend to look at it as this market versus that market. And we think there is a trend to, you know, people seeing it as a, you know, seeing that the China market as, as a more overall perspective. But what we're really trying to identify is, is the best companies within that. And we're relatively agnostic to, to where they're listed.